so what is velocity right velocity is a salesforce company and specialized in the industry specific customization salesforce crm right we talked about that uh, different industries so based on that industries they have been you know um, build their logic and we can try to use all this velocity out of the box features for our uh, uh, specific industries in the market you know i can say most of the people telecom people are using velocity and the second thing energy and utilities there is one more industry like uh, electricity gas water bills this kind of industries right uh, this is second priority and uh, insurance kind of people right insurance insurance industry people there is in third priority so on the top in the market is telecom people all the telecom people are moving to you know they are they are using this velocity only now nowadays right we just spoke about verizon verizon is like a telecom product they are using and many you know telstra and uh, rogers telecom right all i can see i heard many telecom projects are using when i started this in velocity in 2018 it was very limited now it's a huge demand uh, all telecom people are you know you started using this velocity okay it will support everything here you know lwc it will support and uh, we can try to use you know apex classes and also our integrations right in velocity without writing apex class directly we can configure by using integration processor in in velocity we can configure third party endpoint url directly and uh, we can directly configure you know whatever the request parameter they wanted that parameters also we can uh, configure on in the integration processor itself without writing any customer without building any rest api classes or something directly we can configure and we can send you know request and whatever the response is coming that is also we can store into if you want you know uh, interface logs or somewhere if you want to store all this information also we can uh, store by using this you know velocity out of the box features only like kind of configurations only we have to build we can we can able to achieve this this is the added advantage for uh, velocity people less customization more out of the box features we can use here okay this is what velocity and uh, so course overview right we can talk about different uh, environments and configurations customizations and deployments so what all things will come we can talk about here and i know most of the people this uh, different environments whoever is new salesforce or something let me explain again here so basically right in this manage package velocity manage package right will 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 try to install this in the production first as soon as we install the production we have to refresh uh, or we have to create new sandbox for production so as soon as we create um, the installed manage velocity manage package also will be applicable into our uh, lower environments like uh, for example we created new developer sandbox for production as soon as you create the created uh, no installed manage package also will come here okay one good part here is no need to assign this velocity user licenses on on our sandboxes this user licensing part will applicable only on the production on this velocity okay all system administrator can able to access velocity manage package without any user license on the sandboxes okay and same thing i uh, will start building our uh, velocity configurations or whatever everything we can configure on developer environment as soon as we complete this development we can push into qba sit uat all this stuff as soon as we complete it will move to production okay whoever is new to salesforce people for uh, sandbox url is uh, test.salesforce.com for production it is login.salesforce.com okay so these are different environments Uh, uh we can use it and uh, installed uh, manage package also directly in production as soon as we install that as soon as we create new sandbox or refresh sandbox that installed installed manage package will be applicable in lower environment and before we start right before we start our development velocity development on newly created sandbox or refreshed sandbox right we have some post refreshment activities we have to perform that we can talk about next session what are the steps we have to perform there are some jobs need to run what are those jobs also i can explain in next session so yeah keep remember that so as soon as we get new sandbox we have to perform some post refreshment activities 
okay so that's all for different environment and moving on to configurations right okay so in this, this configuration we have a coating and ordering configurations we can talk about velocity cpq uh, like in this cpq right we can show some kind of uh, how we are going to create the product right attributes price list child uh, products to parent project how we are going to associate and how we are going to create the discounts promotions all this stuff we can try to create and we'll try to explain under elastic cpq right c pricing promotion advanced pricing okay so contract life cycle management is like a very basic level we can talk about this is completely different thing and the velocity order management also this is not well, very basic we can explain um, in this batch in this training okay we are primarily focusing on our development and velocity cpq part velocity cpq part also i said right product creation price list association attribute creation uh, uh, after creation of how we are going to associate all this stuff we can cover under cpq mm -hmm. See, CLM and OM part will not be, you know, in detail. We can explain in this batch. So, Venkat, you are saying something? Sorry, I was not here. Okay. I was talking okay. to someone. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. So, so is there? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, CLM and order system is a separate uh, course or? Uh... Correct. That is separate okay. course. We, yeah. Uh, even I am not expertise on that. I okay, haven't worked on this too. So I can give okay. overview. I can give overview. Okay. okay. This is altogether different concept. Even, even uh, we have not. Uh, I have not worked so far on this order management. Also, uh, my current project, which is current project, it is there. Even still, I'm learning. Uh, so mostly, if I learn something next batch onwards, and I will try to give some more uh, details on order management. Do you have any idea on this life cycle management compared to Aptus, right? Uh, uh, no know. contract life cycle management also these two concepts i didn't work so far in velocity okay. that's what i said i can give overview only not in detail okay altogether these are all separate trainings you know in the velocity even when i get this training right so first they will start with um, development you know platform developer essentials they can, they can start that is they will give the training once we complete that right next training we have to take the velocity cpq this is one week of training they will give. Once this is done, later point, if you are interested to go for CLM training separate, OLM, uh, the order management is separate, right? And the QM, coating essentials, that is different training. So if that is depends on uh, personal interest, we have to learn. Uh, as a consultant or business analyst, at least four of you should at least to know these topics, right? As a developer should know the development uh, platform essential and a little bit background of CPQ. So in market, actually, uh, when come to velocity, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, which one is the demand on velocity? Is it CPQ? demand? That's what, right? Velocity CPQ and developer essentials. Okay. If you know this, right, they will take. But if you are in a consultant stream or something, if you have uh, more experience, try to get gain this knowledge also. OM and CLM concept. OM, like uh, hardly like um. I'm facing the very difficulty to finding people in uh, so even my project itself. I need three to four people, but I'm struggling to find out these people. Yeah. 